Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to show you how to install an Alula video and audio doorbell. So here we are in the garage where my transformer happens to be. For most of you it's probably going to be in your basement near the furnace. Up here is my transformer. So I can check voltage here as well as I can check it outside. I can see I'm about 16 and a half volts. So what I'm going to do is short of um, killing the power to the garage, knowing that this is low voltage, I can take and just undo one of the wires in my transformer. So rather than turning off all kinds of stuff, because the low voltage transformer is not high electricity. You won't get a shock. I'm touching both terminals. I'm not going to get a shock. So in lieu of turning off the power, you can disconnect one of the wires off your transformer without having to shut off all kinds of breakers. The instructions tell you to check to make sure you have 16 volts and if they don't they're showing you can do different things. Well if you found the transformer and it's not putting out 16 volts go buy a 16 volt transformer find the circuit breaker kill the power because you're going to be on the 110 side of the transformer change it out and you're good to go. Now from my hardware store I've learned that the ring doorbells need 30 volt amps or 30 watt transformers to work properly. I've already sold some to replace some of the rings. So if you're doing a ring and you're having power with not enough voltage, you can find a 30 or 40 volt amp transformer and change it and that's what it's going to look like. In lieu of going through my circuit breakers, trying to find out what circuit controls this transformer, it's a low voltage transformer. In order to kill the power so I don't damage any of the new electronics we're about to install, I can simply take one of the wires off the transformer. Now the power has been killed to my doorbell and I don't have to fool around with the circuit breakers because I don't know which one controls this. Circuit breaker is a good choice. This is a good choice. This to me is a lot easier. I already put the pigtail into the power kit pretty easy. What they want us to do is they want us to take these wires and attach them to the wires that are coming off of that are feeding the doorbell chime now. So to prevent from losing any polarity I'm just going to do these one at a time. By doing them one at a time I don't have to worry about losing any polarity if I have front and rear on my doorbell chime. Power kit's ready. Now let's go outside, put the chime on. I've got the doorbell removed. My two wires, like many, are too short. I'm going to have to use the extenders. What I want to do is I don't need to go up or down, even though I'm not quite four feet high. I want to show my porch and my driveway. And seeing as how I go down some steps, even though I'm a little low, I don't have any reason to make it go lower. And then when I go to install this, they provide little level that I can level it in with. The extenders are on. I've got to tuck the wire nuts in the hole. Now we're ready to hook up the doorbell. Sub base is installed. What they neglected to tell you is that Alula faceplate comes off. I can't tell you how long it took me to figure that one out. The instructions tell me to go to the Alula app, but I found out that the EasyViz app works also. One of my uh, other cameras is EasyViz that came from Alula. And then now I can go here to add a camera, which means I just go scan the QR code, click Next. The indicator is flashing blue. Next. My network password, we're connecting the Wi-Fi. Cool. We need to tell that that it was a mechanical doorbell. I 
chose my linking range to be the left hand and here we are we're looking down our steps see a little bit of the marina and the boats in front of me we skipped the breaker step put on the cover plate it took us about 25 minutes a little step up from some of the other doorbells this is a 3 meg resolution camera real nice high quality easy install quick tip from mrhardware.com